This review is of Lantana Dill Pickle Hummus, made with garbanzo beans and topped with diced pickles. Um, there's nothing special at all about this brand, apparently. And so we start with the nutrition facts. Uh, four and a half grams of fat, of which none are saturated and no trans fats either. No cholesterol, 140 milligrams of sodium, and that's a, a two tablespoon serving size. Um, total carbs, five, one gram of dietary fiber, two grams of sugar, of which one is added, and then also two grams of protein. Okay. And here are the ingredients. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's give it a try. This stuff is supposed to last until 2027. Oh, sorry, 2023. So, I gotta eat it soon. Will you help me eat this? Come on over. I've got more hummus, different flavors. I didn't got a chocolate one. Come on. Come on over. Let's have a party. A hummus party. But you gotta bring some no salt chips. Because the salt has been assaulting my heart. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Kind of sweet. I know. Dill. Hmm. I don't know. A little bit ambivalent. Well, I guess I should do it the right way. Get some hummus in my mouth. With all these darn chips. I can't resist, you know. It's just about the only brand of chip that I can find at the grocery stores near me. That doesn't have salt. I guess that's dill, yeah. There's a lot of it. I mean, look at that. It's pretty loaded, really, as far as dill is concerned. It took me a minute to adjust myself to it, but now that I have, I'm enjoying it. Um... I haven't had pickles for a while. I don't eat them very often. Pickles aren't actually good for your health to eat on a regular basis. Partially because they have so much salt in them. Um, and it doesn't matter if it's cucumbers or something else. Uh, the pickling process is the process problem because it introduces a lot of salt into the food. And um, there are studies that have shown that there's a direct relationship to between um, pickled foods, and that includes things like kimchi, um, and cancer in the intestines. I think in the, I think specifically in the bowels, but I'm not, I'm not sure. Anyways, I think I will give this a seven and a half. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.